Now here is a classic Kepler's third law problem. So what we have is two satellites orbiting around a common planet. It doesn't matter what planet it is. So here is our common planet. And we know that we have satellite A, which is positioned here, and satellite B, which is positioned here. And we're told that satellite B is twice as far as satellite A. So that what means is that if this is our distance over here, and we're going to say call this R, then the distance from there to there is equal to 2R. Not drawn it exactly to scale, but that doesn't matter. Now we're also told the actual period for satellite A, and that in that case is equal to 21 days. And we need to know what the period is for satellite B. So in Kepler's third law, it says that the R cubed over T squared is a constant value and it's equal to gm over 4 pi squared, where g of course is the gravitational constant, 4 pi squared is a constant, and the mass of the planet or the central body is m. Now we don't know that, but, but the thing is with Kepler's third law is that this is true for all satellites. So if this is satellite A's, R and T, then that is true also for B in terms of the ratio between those two values. So since we know that, we can ignore this little section in the middle because these two are exactly the same. Now, what that means is, is that we don't have to use necessarily SI units. So in this case, we can just use the values that we have up here. So now what we do is we substitute things in, ignoring this central section here. So we know that the radius of A is simply R. So we've got R cubed over T squared. Now that's 21 squared for A. And that is equal to, now we're told that the radius is twice as of, of A. So we're going to have 2R and we have to cube that. And that, of course, means that's over T squared. Now that, when we expand that out, is equal to 8R cubed over T squared. And now you'll see that we can cancel out the R's. So we've got R cubed on this side and R cubed on this side. So now what we get is 1 over 21 squared is equal to 8 over t squared. Now, if I cross multiply, I'm going to get t squared is equal to 8 times 21 squared. And as a result, I'm going to be able to work out t by just determining that. And you end up getting 59.4 days. So there you have Kepler's third law problem. Please like, share and subscribe to and check out my website too. Bye for now.